watching the storm extremely closely, obviously, over the next few days. That's right, Mainers up and down the coast of Maine are already preparing for the worst. News 13's Kate Barker joins us live in Yarmouth with details. Kate? Jeff and Kim, we traveled up and down the coast of Maine today, and this storm is what everyone is talking about. We're live in Yarmouth tonight, and as you can see, it is a beautiful night on, on the water here this evening. The water is calm, but that will change by early next week, and Mainers will spend the next 72 hours preparing for what could be a very serious storm. Today, the water is calm and the sun is out. Oh my God, it is gorgeous today. It's just absolutely beautiful. But a storm is brewing. Hurricane Sandy is still 1,500 miles to our south. It's already making for a busy day at Yankee Marina in Yarmouth. Once it's here, it's too late. The staff here is busy hauling boats out of the water and adding anchors to their docks to prevent any damage. And we'll have people on call and here 24 hours a day if needed. Um, that's kind of the way we do it. Down the coast a bit, people in Camp Ellis and Ferry Beach in Saco are thinking about the storm. Who's to say what the outcome is going to be or how bad it's going to be? We can just prepare and that's all we can do. So, Emergency crews are asking fishermen and lobstermen to watch the forecast and they're asking them not to take any chances on the water next week. Most of the guys that are here now are lobstermen and fishermen that are, are used to the storms. You know, they're used to seeing storms and some of these guys go out in some pretty heavy weather. Central Maine power is on high alert. For us, the, the, the key questions will be how much rain do we get and, and how much wind. CMP is already holding storm meetings so they can be prepared as best they can. But they warn customers to have flashlights ready just in case. Having a good radio with, a, with batteries, making sure they have enough water and food in the house that they could, that they could be uh, comfortable for a couple of days if the power does go out. People across the state are hoping for smooth sailing when it comes to the storm next week but they are still preparing for the worst. And also important to note tonight, I spoke with several school superintendents in the area today, and they're reminding parents to be prepared. We could see some school cancellations at some point next week. Reporting live in Yarmouth tonight, I'm Kate Barker. Kim and Jeff, back to you. All right, we'll stay on top of it. Thanks, Kate.